Hello everyone. Good day. We have a job to do. HP laptop. Although this one is a old laptop. Old HP laptop. It has a charging problem. The charging port has a problem. The charging port broken. And um, this HP, like I told you, is a old laptop. So, what can we do? I just want to use this same opportunity to to teach us on how we can modify things. This laptop has a charging problem, but I do. I don't. I don't think I have this kind of charging port. But I'm going to teach you on how you can modify your charging port. You see, the charging port is broken. The internal pin that's supposed to be in the charging port is broken. The internal pin that's supposed to be in the charging port is broken. As you can see, that internal pin, the middle pin, that's supposed to enter into this charger, is broken, is missing from the charging port. So I'm going to teach you, use the same opportunity to teach you on how you can modify things. Like, for instance, how you can modify this charging port. Since I don't have the actual one, the recommended one of the charging port. As you can see, this other charging port, there is a pin in the middle. That tells you that that same pin inside the middle of this one is missing from this other charger port because both of them they are using the same HP yellow mat small pin charger. They are using the same kind of charger. You understand? So, and they brought this laptop to us to fix. So. I'm going to use this same opportunity to teach us on how things can be modified. Understand? This HP laptop is a N60 6400. It's an old HP laptop. Do all these laptops are rugged ones? I love them because they are durable, but they are out of market now because they are old ones. So you just have to follow the process. You just have to follow the process. Let's do this job together. I don't want to spend much of our time on this job, but let's just do modification together. Just have to follow the process. Let's do modification together. In our last video, in our comment session, I, I'm so happy I saw somebody, you know, drop down uh, his or a point of view that uh, the MOSFET, the MOSFET that I changed will not allow the laptop to charge. But no, that is lie. That is our first MOSFET. It has nothing to do with the charging. If you follow the schematic of of the of the laptop, you know that that laptop must charge. It's just the first MOSFET. What is the work of the first MOSFET? A first MOSFET is a is a it's like a fuse, you know. It's like a switch. So it doesn't have anything, any problem to do with charging or not charging, you know. And I love that 
I love that that um, comment. That shows that that person is following up with the teaching, and that shows that um, that person is with me. So always try to follow up with my teaching. At first, MailSweat doesn't have anything to do with charging. It's a protective uh, MOSFET. Since we have the other MOSFET, you can take it out and bridge the board when the current, when the voltage comes from from the charging port, it gets to the perhaps it gets to the coil or perhaps it gets to the um, power diode. After the power diode gets to the first MOSFET, which is which which stand as a switch then after that gets to the second mosfet which also stand at c switch a protective switch you know this mosfet their work is like a fuse or switch whatsoever you put it so since you have two mosfet in a place and one get bowed you can easily just take it off and you still have the other one to protect the laptop. That's just it. That is what I did in the last job. So it does have any problem with the, with the charging uh, system of the laptop. So the laptop charged perfectly and it's still working because uh, the customer hasn't uh, call for any challenge or the customer haven't has not re returned a laptop to now so that's how it is so let's follow the procedure that shows that that's a person that uh, drop that comment is following up with me now this laptop is up so let's take every other thing because remember we are working on the charging port of this laptop working on the charger part of this laptop you just have to remember to follow the procedure if you are a beginner you just have to follow the process when losing a laptop first thing you have to do is to take off the battery because you just have to be careful you have to protect the laptop for any other component or get burnt you know so always first of all if before you start losing laptop you take off your battery so that there will be no uh, voltage remaining inside because always remember there is 3.3 .3 always present in the power array of the laptop yeah this small 3.3 .3 always present you know um maybe our next video i'm going to teach you the number of um voltage inside a laptop the number of voltage a laptop using processing yes we have different types of voltage inside the laptop when your main power rail come into the laptop from a certain place is spread and at the end of the day it's it changes it converts to different voltage so let's come back home this is a charging port And what are we going to do in this case? Take for instance, it doesn't have this charger port. What will come into your mind? Oh, so let's just take it out. There is a charging port. I place a thermal paste to keep it moisturized. Let's take this charge port out. My tweezer off, off, off. Ah, oh, the charge port is out. As you can see, this charge port is out. Assuming you don't have this charge port and you have to deliver this laptop. 
Like for instance, I don't have this charging port because this laptop is a, is a old one. I don't have any spare of this laptop in the store where I can be able to get this charging port from. Assuming you don't have, what will you do? So first of all, grand. We we'll first of all check for our grand. So grand. Um, yeah. Now those ones there you see is our grand. This is our life. You can see. It's already in continuity. So, what we are going to do? I'm just going to use this charging port from any other laptop. I'm going to use it to modify this laptop, and it will work just as the other one that was broken. The way it works. The same number of voltage that I used to enter into this laptop, that is the same number of voltage that will enter. So that is modification for you. I'm going to try my possible best for this video to, to, to be a short one. I don't want this video to be a long one. So the first thing that comes into your mind is just for you to look for the ground of the laptop in the other words it's just for you to look for the positive and the negative of the laptop for which i just find out this other side are the positive the other side are the negative so let's peel let's take it off The two are together, twist it, twist the two wire together. Just have to apply some lead to the wire so that whenever I want to, to put it on the board, to just hold. I guess it's my soldering iron is not that hot. I think. I have to get the other one. So the iron is not born away. It's not born away. No, 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 no. Let me get the other one. Put the other one. Yeah, uh, you can see this one is very hot. This one is very hot. I just want to coat the wire with lead. Coat the whole wire with lead. All you have to do is to follow the process. Always remember to subscribe to our channel, share our video, like my video, and always drop your comments. If you don't understand anything, drop your comments. I will always reply you. <clears throat> so you can see, this is a positive. This point here is a positive. And all these other points are the negative. So you take the black. Let's solder the black first. These three points here, which I put this black, are the negative. 
So let's take it first. I supposed to supposed to have um, you know clip this wire to the board before the soldering. Mm, this thing, let's just quote it together. Just want to do a perfect job. That's all. You know, doing a perfect job makes you to have inner rest. You know. The soldering. <clears throat> uh, so, soldering just broke. So I just have to just press this thing into into this into this hole so that we hold more. You know, yes. This one is more better. This one is more better. It's okay now. Just have to clean it up more. Okay. So let's take the positive. Just have to clean it and uh, cut this wire a little so that not too much longer. No, no, no. Just have to cut it, it's too long, okay. Yes, we got it. So there is a positive, there is a negative. Let me use the terms. <clears throat> and our charger, our charging port has already been modified. Yeah, charging port has already been modified. So let's test. And uh, as you can see, there is indicator light shows that there is power and the board is on. Ah, the board is on, as you can see. So modification of charging port. This is how you can modify your charging port maybe perhaps if you have a laptop that comes with um hp big mat charger that other big mat charger that looks like the one of dell and if you have that kind of laptop that kind of job in your hand and you doesn't have that exactly same charging port all you have to do is to tell the person, the owner of the laptop, that please, sir, please, ma, is it possible I modify the charge? But if the person agree with you, yeah, you are good to modify. You just have to follow the procedure. All you have to do is to look for the look for the power, you look for the ground. Just have to go. The power have to go, and the power, the ground have to go to the ground. You put it to also give you the same thing. Yeah, there are cases of uh, maybe the charger port might be in theory section. Perhaps some other time we are going to discuss about that. Always remember to subscribe to our channel, like our videos. I'm going to end this video for here. I'm going to end this video here. I have to make it short, like I told you guys. So the main job has been done. The rest I have to couple the laptop. I have to couple the laptop to make the video short. Yeah, the main job has been done. The modification, you guys saw it. And thank you. Always remember to watch our video, like our video. See you in our next video. Thank you.